Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are gonna do the ultimate challenge which is never done before. We're gonna play Isengard against 7 hard armies on the map in it wave, which means we have only a outpost with 3 spots and that's it. That's it. Wish me luck because trust me on that one, I will need it. Okay, so we're gonna build a furnace into the Uruk pit. This way we can get the Urukai on the field to be able to capture our mills as soon as possible. And the goal early on is just to survive. And later on we're gonna beat them or let them come. Oh my goodness man, that's gonna be a tough one guys. That's gonna be a tough one. We are waiting for the Urukai and Isengard is the only faction out of all four factions in BFME 1 that has no starting heroes. Like for example Gonzo and Rohan they have the Hobbits and Mordor has the Golem but Isengard, you know. That's nothing. That's nothing. We, have, we will have Urukai though, and remember, those are Urukai. They are armoristic and their shields broad. And hopefully, their shields are broad enough. Because we will need the broadest shields ever in this planet Earth. Okay. Let's grab the settlement as soon as we possibly can. Get the second Urukai on the field. And actually, you know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go for the attack with the two Urukai, because Urukai are the strongest starting unit in the game, they are the fastest and also the best looking, look at this beautiful picture, they are looking like legends to me. Okay, so we are just gonna wait for the second Urukai, look at their design guys, we are also using the BFME 1 HD edition by the way, look at this, looks dope am I right? Okay. Now let's go for the attack, shall we? Move Urukai, move, 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 move. And hopefully we will be able to get through the early game because, you know, if they're gonna attack us very soon, then we will be in a really bad spot. Really, really bad spot. We're gonna use Warchant and one of the Urukai is now gonna take care of this all, uh, of these archers and the other one is gonna try to kill this archer range as, we, as soon as we possibly can. And our goal is not gonna be to defeat this Gondor, by the way. Our goal is gonna be to get him out of the game. And with that, I mean, like, we will leave one building alive. And this way, he will not get defeated, but he will not be able to play the game anymore. If this makes sense for you guys. Because I think in order to pull this off, we need to be as, you know, as, ex how, how can I say? We need to be extremely smart. We need to make sure that we are, you know, facing as against as few units as we possibly can. Okay, yeah, like, like mentioned before, we're gonna try to kill um, the archer range, we're gonna try to kill one of the blacksmiths and one of them, uh, and then the Tsitsa itself. And then we're gonna leave one, only one blacksmith alive. That's the plan. Okay, I mean, it looks like Rohan doesn't want to help him. Like, because, you know, remember Gondor was not helping Rohan in Westfold. Where was Gondor when Westfold fell? And it looks like those peasants are just observing us killing Gondor. <laughs> Where was Rohan when Enetvi fell? Fell, not fail. Alright. Oh, Faramir, oh my goodness. Is this the time for Faramir, the captain of Gondor, to finally show his quality? Hopefully not, hopefully not against us. Just ignore him. Just kill the buildings as soon as we possibly can. And we're gonna leave this one with one HP left. This blacksmith. Okay, let's peel back. And also our Lords gonna come very, very soon. And with the help of the Lords, we will be able to kill this Faramir too. There we go. So the plan is simple, we're gonna cripple him down, we're gonna finish him off, and we have also a level 2 Urukai, we wanna be able to group them with the crossbow man, this way we will have a level 2 combo battalion. Very important. We need to use Warchant here, let's go. Warchant. Let's cripple down Faramir, the captain of Gondor, and I'm sorry Faramir, but your day to show your quality isn't this day. Urukai with the Warchan are extremely tanky, they are also dealing quite a lot of damage, now we can group our units, make one more combo right after, and we wanna make sure that it's gonna be Lourdes who's gonna get the last hit, this way Lourdes is gonna be level 3, 
and level 5 is gonna be the time for the Isengard hero Lourdes to shine because that's gonna unlock his leadership and that's gonna make the surrounding units around Lourdes stronger. Last it. Come on. Lourdes, do it. Now stop with Vurukai. S, 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 S all the time. One more hit. There we go. Lourdes was able to get the last hit. Very important. We can now kill the Urukai. I mean the Rohirrim. Sorry, not Urukai. Urukai are... These are our Urukai. <laughs> And let's group them with this Urukai level 2. And this way we have now two combos. Lourdes is level 4. He's only one level away from getting the leadership unlocked. And we are in a great spot. And I think... I Guys, guys. I think we are going to be able to do that this time. We are going to be able to do that this time. Are you sure about that? Yes, yes. I am sure about that. And by the way, guys. Um, because this is going to be such a challenge. If we manage to do that, please make sure to leave a like. Hopefully we will be able to get 500 likes on this video. And the only faction which are miss which is missing is Mordor. So 500 likes. And we're gonna do that also with Mordor. I mean, we're gonna try. But Mordor, you know, even when you think about it, it's so hard. <laughs> because how you wanna do that? We have nothing to fight with early on, mid -game. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, there is a goblin layer. Let's creep this one first with, you know, Lourdes in the combat battalion. And this way, we can get, hopefully, our Lourdes to level 5. That's gonna be very important. That's gonna make the surrounding units deal 60% more damage. Very efficient and super important. The same situation also with Faramir. That's the case. We're gonna make sure that Lourdes is gonna be the one who is getting the last hit on the layer. This way, he will get the full experience. Very important. Okay, so what's the plan? I mean, we are in a kind of good spot right now because we were able to take down Gonzo almost entirely. He will be out of the game for the next couple of minutes. And Lourdes, I'm just, you know, focus a bit because Lourdes has to get the last hit. There we go. Lourdes is level 5. Get the money. Get out. Nice though. We are gonna wait for Saruman now. Saruman is gonna be nice because Saruman will be able to help us to survive. He will be able to support our units also with additional armor leadership. And also very important, the combat experience. 100% more combat experience means our units are gonna level up twice as quickly. Lourdes is of course a anti-hero, let's use war chance here to make them stronger and now they have right now 110% damage boost and sorry but Eowyn, it is not your day either. Oh there is a Legolas, let's kill him as soon as we possibly can, he's a really great hero against units, he's leveling up like crazy but Lourdes is also around and there we go. So after Saruman we will demolish our Uruk pit potentially but not immediately afterwards, we're gonna be waiting a couple of minutes. Ideally, we want to wait until Lourdes gets level 6, you know? Because Lourdes level 6 is going to give us money. You'll do what I, I mean, we can start the armory right now, but we won't be able to purchase all the upgrades since we will run out of resources. We have also enough power points for the industry. I'm actually thinking about to go for maybe the Tainted Land, just so we have even more leadership. That would be also nice. Saruman is around, let's put Saruman next to our combos, this way they're gonna be stronger. Warchan is not active, I mean it's still active but it's gonna be on cooldown very soon. Everything is getting one-shotted, let's use Fireball on the rangers behind with Saruman, the White Wizard of Isengard. Boom, oh there is a Nazgul. <laughs> That's gonna be tough, Eowyn is smiting us all the time, let's use Speechcraft to give them some experience. Nazgul is just observing us, oh never mind he's attacking. Please be level 6, please be level 6. Almost level 6, come on Lourdes. Come on Lourdes. Lourdes level 6 means we will get money every time we kill enemy units or heroes. And that's gonna happen pretty much every single second. And being able to buy upgrades on our units is gonna cost a lot of money, since we have only two furnaces and Isengard's armory is very expensive. Unless you have six furnaces for the full steel bonus. Steel bonus means you have less cost for the upgrades on your units, pretty much. Let's buy fire next and we're gonna 
skip the um, skip the forge blades by the way guys we can support that and forge blades on combos is not that great let's use industry one more time and let's fight back nothing will stand in our way Banner, this way we will have level 2. I mean, maybe Banner is not even needed, but, I, you know, better safe than sorry. The reason why we are picking Freezing Rain now from the spellbook is simple, because we want to get to Balrog Summon as soon as we possibly can. Very important. War Chanted, now we, there we go. We need to keep this level 3 Furnace protected, by the way. Luckily, Furnaces are way, way tankier than Slaughterhouses from Mordor. A level 1 Furnace, for example, is 3000 health, and a level 1 Slaughterhouse on the other side is 1500 health. They got this down. Level 6 Saruman, that's nice. Unfortunately, in BFME 1, Saruman doesn't have a really great skilling into the mid to late game. You know, once he's on the field, he has everything unlocked. And getting him to level 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 doesn't matter that much. I mean, of course, it's, you know, it's gonna make him stronger, basic, basic attack wise, and also he will have more HP, but. That's pretty much it. Fireball! Let's go for a beautiful... Visa Plus. Do your thing. Saruman Dwight. Do it, do it. Please? Boom. Nice. Level 7 unlocked. Just like that. Freezing rain this way. Enemy units are gonna lose their leadership. Let's one-shot the steel real quick. Bam. He's gone. I mean, Theoden is a really squishy hero, can't survive this much burst, our combos are all highly leveled, and another Theoden, I got you, <laughs> he's getting one-shotted, dude, okay, I mean, we are still 15 power points away from the Balrog summon, and before we're gonna summon Balrog, we will eventually have to pick up the Palantir from the spellbook as well, because in order to summon things in BFME 1, you will need vision, you can't summon when you don't see anything. And I don't see us leaving our side of the map any soon, because the second we're gonna do that, we're gonna potentially lose the game. Because the problem is, oh, there is Gimli, and Gimli, by the way, is extremely underrated, and he's extremely tanky as well against um, pretty much arrows. But he's crippled down from, from Lourdes, and that means he can't move, and eventually he's gonna go down as well, because we have so much le leadership right now. I mean, this Elvin spear are annoying, to be honest. <laughs> stop it, Elvin. Stop it. It's time to stop. Warchant? Now, on this three units. Nice. Let's fight. Heal back. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention that. It's very important to not lose your entire combo. Whenever you see your, one of your combos is very low, always peel back. Wait until, it, until they respawn over time. And then come back again. Don't lose them. Because if, you know, the units which are level 2 or higher, they're gonna respawn over time, they're gonna recover over time, automatically. But of course, with Gondor and Rohan, you don't need that because you have the well, you have the statue even for more leadership, you will have much more damage leadership, you will have much more defense and sustain. And we already played with Gondor and Rohan against 7-1, 7 hard armies, it was also very, very difficult. But I believe Isengard is gonna be next level in terms of difficulty. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, because we are getting attacked all the time and we are only able to defend ourselves, really. That's all we can do. It is Aragorn. Okay. Let's creep it down real quick. Let's do this. Aragorn, Aragorn's son, he's gone. Oh, oh, he missed the heal. <laughs> he missed the heal on Aragorn, come on. Let's use Fireball with Saruman right after. We are getting there. We are only 10 power points away from the Balrog summon. Really close. Many heroes, and we are getting a lot of money. Look how much money we are getting. You know, it depends on the units you are killing. If you kill a hero, you get more. If you kill an archer, you get less. How much are we gonna get for Kimli? I'm curious. But Gimli is so tanky. What's what's happening here? Why is it so, why is it so tanky? Let's use Carnage. Oh, only 40 plus? That's horrible, actually. You know, when you think about how long it took us to kill him, we are getting only not even 50 resources. That's meh. 
But it's about, it's not about the money you get from one single target. We are getting money constantly, and that's very important because once again, let's use by the way dominate on the Rangers maybe. Let's you know make them fight for us. You're in. A lot of units are coming from both the sides. We need to use Warchan to make our units stronger. Always kill the heroes um, just to make sure that they die and don't support the allied units around them. Our furnaces are under attack. We have to be extremely careful. Our power points are rising luckily to the sky. That's very good. Okay, they are getting so much money. Aragon is also there. We have to be careful about Aragon. I mean, maybe not really, because we have so much damage leadership when we have Warchant and Lurt is nearby. Um, we are in a good spot. Look Aragon's life. He should be getting bursted down. Yeah, let's go. Was using Bleedmaster in the last possible... These Rohan heroes are really annoying. Aragorn's Legolas's because we have many many Rohan opponents and you know when you have watched the other 1v7 play, uh, videos from mine you know that Rohan is the hardest opponent to face against because at some point of the game they're gonna spam ends on us. You will only see here ends crying and going trying to go to war but you know what you know what guys let them come. We will kill them all. We have to pick uh, Palantir because we are getting there. We need to use Palantir to get vision to be able to summon the Balrog of Morgoth. And once again, we're gonna make the we're gonna make sure that we are not wait, wait a second, kill the trolls first. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we are not defeating this outpost in time. What is this? Even a Nazgul? Come on. I mean, luckily they are getting one-shotted because our combos are level 10. I mean, levels in BFME 1 are really important. Really, really important. Fireball. Eowyn. <laughs> Eowyn. No, Eowyn. She was so young. Okay, we are not going to destroy this troll cage. Very important. Oh, be careful. No, no, no. All right. Oh, my goodness. Almost destroyed that. We are almost there, we are a bit more than half a power open away from the Balrog summon, it's getting close guys, it's getting close, but you know what, when we're gonna summon Balrog, you will see what I mean, like, we won't kill the entire base, I think, when you kill the production buildings, in this case, Barracks, Stable, Orc Pit, they, there is a chance that they don't rebuild these buildings, and we need to make sure that we are facing against as few units as we possibly can. Because otherwise we will never get the chance to move to move out and fight, pretty much, you know? And we will be only able to defend ourselves 24-7. So killing an outpost entirely, when you can't protect the outpost you just killed, when you can't buy the outpost and keep the outpost protected, it's kinda useless. Because then other, uh, another player is gonna come, another hard army is gonna come and grab this one, so that, you know, makes it maybe possible for one hard army all alone to have like 5 outposts, you know? And that would be horrible. Even Voris when it's gonna be Rohan, because then he will be spamming ends on us 24-7. I mean... You see what we, get, what we are doing, guys? Every time our combo is being damaged, we are sending them back. We are letting them time to recover. You know, then we are waiting. We have five combos right now, and we are extending the command points limit too. Let's use Balrog. Let's go Balrog of Morgoth. And we have, you know, you see our combos behind are chilling. And let's use, I mean, actually I believe when we use breath fire here, we can one-shot this outpost. Let's try. Like this. Let's see. Yeah, we did it, nice. That was a bad, actually, that was actually bad that we did it. <laughs> when I think about it. It was actually bad. We shouldn't have done it. We shouldn't have done it, guys. We should have left one of the buildings protected. I mean, alive. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, I'm regretting my life already. Come on, come on, Balrog. And let's keep moving, uh, let's keep flying over. Maybe we should have flight downstairs to be able to kill this outpost or at least destroy the steebles. But yeah, we have no time, no time anymore. Let's kill the barracks instead from this condo faction. Barracks, there we go. One shot it and kill this barracks too. Oh, this Nazgul wanna play wanna play rough? Let's say hello my to my little friend. <laughs> right. Again, ignore this outpost because he's building now a stonework and stuff like this, doesn't really matter. And we have not uh, can we breath fire? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
No way. Oh man. So unlucky. I was sloppy though. It was my bad. But luckily our combos were able to recover. Now you can see we have 160 available command points, but because we are recovering over time and we are doing that over and over again, we are also able to extend our command point limit. Which is pretty nice. So we have right now more units than we are allowed to have pretty much. And also almost level 10 Saruman, level 10 Lourdes now for... What is Lourdes doing inside the Zitter? That's so weird. Get him out, get him out. Let's use Cripple. I mean, this Legolas is chasing down our units all the time. Let's, we can also use Carnage, you know? Let's use Carnage. And Legolas is going to be taken down in a second. Bam. I mean, we have no choice but wait, but waiting for the next Balrog summon. Because you can see, we are winning the fights. We are able to defend ourselves, yes. But we are also forced to defend ourselves only. And I'm assuming when we leave our side unprotected, you're gonna lose this outpost in no time. I mean, this is no problem. Witch King, Nazgûl, they can all come because with Warchant and Lord's leadership, they can die in a second. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, we are still in the game. Looks nice. Let's kill this Lord. We have also Freezing Rain, just use it, why not? Freezing Rain is actually for three minutes nullifying the entire leadership on the entire map. This means our opponent units are losing all the leadership bonuses they got. But of course, it's not very useful. Because uh, the units are no problem. It's about their heroes, pretty much. Why is this Gimli so tanky? What the heck? He's facing against level 10 combo, by the way, and ignoring every damage. He's so extremely tanky. Okay, let's kill this mill. And let's try to destroy some outposts, maybe. Gimli is gonna be finally taken down, that's nice. I mean, we can pick fuel the fires, not that it matters, because it's useless. Let's use the position. I mean, we have no money problem anyway, right? Look at look our resources, guys. We have over, we have over 15,000 right now. But we can't use it, because we have full command points. We have all the heroes from Isengard on the field, so what? Can we do with the money? Actually, guys, I made a big mistake. Destroying this mill now was actually a big mistake. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Sorry for this one, because now... Rohan... I'm I'm, sh I'm sure that Rohan is gonna buy this and make Endmood there. That's why I don't like to destroy the mills. That's why I don't want to touch those settlements outside, because every time I did it, also in the 1v7 videos we did a couple of weeks ago, it was pretty much the same situation, guys. It was pretty much the same situation. Come to me, my Legolas, the prince of the Midwood Elves. Oh, oh. Let's destroy this mother outpost, maybe. I'm, you know, I'm trying to make a move now because waiting and getting attacked all the time is kind of, um, you know, it's kind of okay, but it's not gonna make us win the game. Do we have to make a move. But what we did was like leaving two combos behind. Okay. The question is now, is this actually the same Mordor? And if we destroy both the outposts at the same time, will this defeat this Mordor faction? That's the biggest question of the day. Because when it comes to destroy our outposts, we want to make sure that the outpost we are killing belongs to somebody who is gonna get destroyed afterwards. I mean, we are under attack all the time from the front side, from the left side or right side. Let's kill the production buildings, let's, let's kill the troll cage and the Muma kill pen as soon as we possibly can. Rohan heroes once again, Theorin, Eomea, Elvin, Legolas, Aragorn, all the time. Okay, uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, the, the mounted heroes from Rohan, they should not be a problem for us because, you know, they have so much damage and level 10 combos, look this. I mean, it's like a magic trick. Now you see him, now you don't. Now we have Balrog summon, let's actually wait with our Saruman around this side to be able to buy this outpost as soon as possible. There we go. Nice, let's move forward. And hopefully, 
destroying this outpost is gonna make us defeat this Mordor faction. Let's make towers. Because money is not a problem. We have Lourdes. Lourdes is gonna give us... What is this? Oh my goodness. I mean... Can we... <laughs> this woman is <laughs> driving me crazy. Like, she's smiting our tower. Come on. Okay. Is this Mordor gonna get defeated? No! Why? How? Why? I don't understand. How many outposts do you have? What is this? He's still not defeated. I mean, Felvis, are you even trying, bro? Are you even trying, bro? You have no, you have no chance. Don't even try me. Three combos with Lourdes leadership. All of them are level 10 almost. Good luck. But, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, 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 well. And even Mona's goals. Oh, this is so tough. This is so tough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do it now. I mean, we have not made it that far that we lose this one. Trust me. I'm gonna not lose this one, guys. I promise you. I promise you. Let's build towers. Peel back, peel back, peel back, peel back, peel back, peel back. Again, you know, saving those level 10 combos, very important. Very, very, very important. I would rather lose a hero than a level 10 combo at this stage of the game. I mean, we might be forced... Oh, we might be forced to use Badrock Summon actually defensively. Yeah, I'm gonna use Badrock Summon defensively. Let's go. Booyah! Say hello to my little friend. Is this gonna one-shot Aragorn? No! Aragorn is a tanky with Bleed Master. I don't want to destroy this outpost, actually, you know? I don't want to destroy this outpost. So let's let's actually not destroy this outpost. Let's destroy... I mean, we should also not destroy this outpost, to be honest with you. Hopefully, that's not going to destroy it and leave one building alive and protect it. Would be nice. Oh my goodness, the heroes, Theorin. What is, what is this? Look at Gimli, so thank you, too. Oh my... Please! Okay, nice, nice, nice. If you have not destroyed this outpost, that's very nice. Let's fly. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, we shouldn't have done it. We shouldn't have done it. We shouldn't have... We should have not destroyed this... Come on. We should have not destroyed the settlement. That's gonna make him... Give him the chance to recruit even more ants now. These heroes are driving me crazy. Look how many Aragorns he has. That's crazy, guys, right? Like, I think in total so far, and we are far from being done with this game, we have killed like 8 times Legolas and 20 times Aragorn or something like this. It feels like that. No! Lords, be careful. Lords, be careful. Please, 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 please. Oh, even ends on the field. Are you kidding me? Three stable. Be careful. Okay. I mean, we are kind of safe, I guess. We can really not afford to lose this one outpost. That's our primary outpost. We have to keep it protected. And now that's what I mean. Like, now what? In what kind of situation are we? Now we have about two outposts, but we cannot protect them and we're going to lose them. That's what's going to happen all the time, you know? That's why moving out is kind of meh. Aragon is dead. Let's kill Gimli next. There we go. We are in a good spot. Again, keeping those uh, combos protected. Not losing the entire battalion is very important. That's why we are rotating all the time. Nice. Let's put them inside, maybe. Go, go inside the tower. Inside the tower. This way we have some sort of more protection. And even more ends are coming. Holy quackamole. Drama troll everything. Oh. I mean, luckily our mill, actually, we were, be <laughs> we were buying at the beginning of the game, is still remaining on the field, but that's the only good news. We will lose this outpost. One in arrow against outpost, this guy, Faramir, is doing everything in his power to finally show his quality. Okay, there is a Gondor and Mordor at the bottom right side. That's a Rohan. That's a Rohan. Okay. Even Treebeard on the field, holy moly. Witch King. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Did he really kill my lords just yet? 
Just three but kill my lords with the stone. Can you imagine, guys? Please kill this. Revenge your lord Saruman. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> he threw the rock and killed my lords. I, I was expecting him to throw, to throw the rock against the building, you know, but I was clearly wrong. That's what it is. Okay. So now let's peel back a bit. Uh, Gimli is extremely tanky. We should avoid to fight him. We need to get some more units on the field. Look, our army is badly damaged. Every battalion is looking so horribly damaged. That's crazy. Let's get this drama troll and give... <laughs> That's actually nice because now the drama troll is going to give us leadership. <laughs> That's nice because we lost our uh, lords and we will need this additional damage and armor leadership from the drama troll. That's good. That's good. I is not ours. We gotta kill, I mean, we gotta make sure that we are attacking the ants one by one and making sure that they are burning. This way they're gonna take damage over time. Very important. Let's peel back. This Kimli is so tanky. I cannot understand how tanky he actually is. He feels almost unkillable, like an unkillable monster. Please. Alright. Finally, finally, finally. Gimli, Gloin, Sun is going down. We need one more crossbow man. Oh, 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 oh. Isengard will prevail. Aragorn is coming too. Holy, what's happening? We gotta kill them. I mean, luckily we are not losing any battalion fully. That's very important. That's very nice. I know that what you are thinking. You are saying, Cheng, Saruman is so low. Why you don't go back? But I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. You gotta trust me on that one, guys. Okay, let's group this Urukai with the crossbow man. This way we're gonna have another combat battalion, which is always nice. Our command points are looking not good, but trust me, once those... I mean, another... Come on, man. I'm done with your trees. Go back to Fangon Forest, please. That's not Fangon Forest. That's the map and it wave. Treebeard and his end friends are invading every single map in Middle-earth. Come on. Fireball, there we go. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, we have to do something. These guys, by the way, they didn't destroy this outpost. That's nice. I don't know what is the next step. We're gonna lose this outpost to Aragorn. We have Balrog ready. Yes. On you spawning Aragorn. Okay, never mind. He was, I was afraid for a second that he's using it on Saruman, but we are fine. We need, okay, I, need, I know what we need to do. We need to kill this ant mood where those ants are coming from 24-7. Okay, that's the plan. <laughs> Dude. Come on, man. This guy's trying to make me mad. Come on. Come on, please stop with that. Please. Guys, what do you think about the situation? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you can feel what I feel right now. I feel depressed. Pretty much about the situation against this many ants. But I have also so much fun. Because you know me, I like challenges a lot. And this is the ultimate challenge. I have not seen anybody or heard anybody being able to do that. And we are really close. Never give up, never surrender. Today, regardless how many attempts it's gonna take. Today, we are gonna make sure to defeat. Seven heart armies as Isengard. On the map with the outpost because that's the hardest one. We have done it with the castle, we have done it with the camps. But outpost with three spots only is Isengard. Can we do that as well? Can we do it? There are some moments, I believe, there are some moments I doubt. We are under pressure 24 7. Looks like we're gonna lose also the outpost at the bottom left side. I mean, we have right now one, two, three, four, five combos. Again, send the units back which are damaged, and then we're gonna keep going on with the battalions which are healthy. Because we wanna make sure that not a single battalion is gonna get killed fully. For chance. The Skimli is so hard to deal with. Oh my goodness. Whew, this outpost is gonna be taken down as well. Aragorn. I mean, the problem is, guys, not the money, because now we have reached a stage of the game in which we have 
unlimited money, but we have only 160 command. Po Kill the ends. Okay. Nice. I mean, the good thing about the, about the situation is, please kill him. Okay. Kill three beard again. Three beard is there. Oh, this is so annoying. The good thing about the situation is that we are Balrog summoning once again. That's the plan. Maybe we can make something happen now. And again, our units are recovering all the time, so we, it's like a like a soccer game. You know, the one which is damaged can get out, and we have the replacement. Rayfire, please, Badro, carry us. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's destroy this Rohan outpost. We will we will kill this we will kill this Entmut, guys. Okay, Pro I promise you, that's gonna be our next plan. We will kill this Entmut. Trust me on that one. Come on. Slaughter them all. Attack. Come to me, my creatures. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Riding weapons. I would try to do that to me. Come to me, my creatures. To war. Please leave me alone. To war. What is this, man? I command you. What is this fiesta? This way. Fight. Oh, come on, man. Micro, uh, I mean, look at this, like, we are getting attacked from, I was not even paying attention to Balrog, guys, my bad, sorry. There is a Nazgul, 500,000 million ends, there are trolls, drummer trolls, not even to mention the soldiers with upgrades and peasants and archers and Legolas and Aragorn and Gimli and everybody, everybody is Kung Fu fighting. I mean, that's a horrible situation because we have literally just lost the citadel of the outpost when our entire army was around this side. But we will have to kill this end mood. We will have to kill this end mood because otherwise, this hard army Rohan is gonna spam ends on us 24/7, literally 24/7. So kill this out, out uh, kill this end mood, not outpost. Sorry. And we will have to go back as soon as possible because we are getting attacked again. <laughs> More ends are also coming from the front side. I cannot believe it. I don't want to believe it. Okay, nice. Let's not buy this outpost or something because it's pointless. We have we we have nothing to defend. That's the problem, you know. We can buy the settlement. We can buy this outpost. Yes, but we have, look at this outpost. Like they are killing all the buildings around and they are leaving it to. They are memeing, they are memeing with us, guys. He's playing a game. But you know what I like to see? You wanna play a game? Okay, I will play with you. I will play with you. And now, Heart Army, you make me mad, okay? Now, Heart Army, you make me really, really mad. Let's go! Now we are talking. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Maybe not? Maybe yes. I don't know what we are doing, but we are trying to achieve something. I mean, <laughs> the problem is, I don't even know if this is gonna be a nice choice to destroy this outpost, guys. You know? That's the biggest problem. Hey, Bind, thanks for the follow on the Twitch channel. Appreciate that. Means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you. Johnny Boy. Okay, Tainted Line will be used now from us. That's gonna give us even more armor. By the way, 40% armor you get from any land in BFMU 1. Elvin Wood and also Tainted Land gives you the same stats. Saruman is level 10. Lourdes is level 10. That's great. The furnace is gonna be... I mean, the outpost at the bottom left side. I just give it up, you know. They, they are, like, destroying my furnaces and then leaving the Tita protected. I don't know what they are trying to achieve, but I don't play with you guys. So we need to make a move now. What is the plan? The, the plan is to kill them all one by one. But the thing is, we need to do it smart. In a smart way. Like, this one, for example, doesn't need to be killed. We're gonna not touch the farms either. You're gonna try to avoid killing the farms and settlements. Why are you asking? Glad you're asking. Because... 
if ever you see what happens like when we are killing <laughs> when we are killing a farm then they're gonna build Entmut on this settlement that's what's gonna happen okay you have to peel back Entmut is coming up very soon you have to make something happen now with the four combos Lords and Saruman kill this outpost as soon as you possibly can okay we might be forced to use Warchan on our units defensively I think we don't need it offensively because we have so much damage right now with Lourdes and Saruman, also armor. Because Saruman is giving us 30% armor and 100% combat experience. That's the leadership from Saruman. Lourdes gives us 60% damage. Okay, I'm, I'm fine as long as the ends are not coming just yet. That's absolutely fine. And our units are also level 10. That means they are gonna be extremely strong. Keep fighting. We are gonna try to kill the production buildings first. That's gonna be our plan, okay? Production buildings first. Let's use Warchan defensively because ends are coming. Oh, oh, maybe it was a. Okay, can we can we win this? Because all of a sudden they have all the army here. Okay, Witch King has been taken down. Our freezing rain is on cooldown fireball on the Rohirrim. Keep fighting. Let's fight. Okay. Oh my goodness. What is this? Trolls? Drama Trolls? Indeed land? <laughs> okay. We have Badrock Summon. Maybe we can use Badrock Summon defensively again, but I don't want that. I don't want to use Legolas. And... Run. You better run. Please attack. More ants are coming, guys. More ants are coming. Entire Fangorn Forest is moving against us. Show them no mercy. They're attacking us. I mean, the ants are luckily disappearing, that's nice, because they have limited time in Middle Earth when they are coming from the end mood summon. We need to destroy this outpost fully. All the steebles. Balrog summon is available, but we want to be smarter. Oh, we need to kill this end mood. Okay. I think we need to kill this. Look how many ants he has. Let's choose Balrog on top of them, okay? Let's go. I summon the blue eyes. No, no, no. That's the wrong game. I summon the Balrog of Morgoth. Breath fire. <laughs> Come on. You wanna fight? Ends? You wanna fight? I don't know about that end mood. There we go. You get breath fired. And we also were able to kill the end mood, which is massive. Nice, nice, nice. Let's destroy this outpost, shall we? I mean, there are flyers around, but we can also ignore them. Because our combos are so strong that they can kill those, you know, Nazgul's and even Witch King in a single second, pretty much. Uh oh are these ends permanent? No, no, okay, they are gonna be gone soon. They are gonna be gone soon, nice, nice. By this outpost, there is even Gandalf. Let's cripple him down with Lourdes. I'm the bad... <laughs> He's blasting our Saruman away, like revenge from the films, you know what I'm saying? Gandalf versus Saruman in Lord of the Rings was awesome. Okay, I mean, it looks like we're gonna lose this outpost, boys. Kill the Nazgus. Kill the Nazgus. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay. Can we defend this? I don't think so. I was not paying attention with Balrog. Can we have enough time for the breath fire? The answer is yes, we do. Let's build towers here and furnaces. One tower. I mean, the good thing about the evil factions is that our resource buildings, in this case those furnaces, they're gonna also act like a tower once they are level 3. Aragorn is dead. Let's kill this outpost too. Now we need to make something happen, right? Now we need to make something happen. Now we need to clean the middle. Raising rain to make them weaker. Can we defend this? Trolls are coming too. Maybe I should have left two combos behind instead of one combo. Because I believe we don't need four combos to move. Three combos with Lourdes and Saruman are enough. So hopefully this one tower is gonna be able to protect this outpost, which I doubt, but you know, try to be I try to be optimistic in a situation like this. Because I have nothing else to do. Okay. I mean we are not gonna destroy those outposts with like one farm on top of that, you know? Because these outposts are not are like harmless for us. Let's cover the sainted land. And Tainted Land in BFME 1 also nullifies the enemy leadership. So if they would have leadership, 
no, I didn't want to do that, man. Like, I'm auto-attacking all the time, auto-attack move, and they're auto-attacking everything automatically, and this is what it is. So, let's buy this outpost, and we might be forced to leave one of the combos behind to keep this prot outpost protected, but this one is damaged. Let's leave this one, which is a bit healthier. Okay? It's a level 10 combo. In BFME 1, it's always about quality over quantity, and we need to move back now with the main army. And kill these trolls and drama trolls coming from the troll cage all the time. That's our plan. Boom, fireball, nice. Kill the trolls one by one. We need to burst them down as soon as we possibly can, because whenever they get the chance to attack us, they're gonna knock us down. Okay, be careful with the level 2 combo. War chant. Kill this end with the units inside the tower. There we go. And by the way, the only good thing about this map is uh, that no siege weapons are allowed here. So you are not able to get any siege weapons on the field. No catapults, no ballistas, no trebuchets, nothing. Which would be horrible, even worse for Isengard if they would have gotten some catapults on the field. Trust me on that one. I mean, even more ends coming. Oh, be careful with the level 10 combo. Very important. And yeah, we have to destroy this end mood again. I mean, that's literally what we have to do 24-7. I mean, I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard task, but I would like to know, guys. Maybe you can do me a favor. Can you guys count how many ends we have killed this game? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because even if you're gonna lose this game, I'm gonna still upload this to YouTube. And maybe some of you guys is gonna be a legend and will be hip, uh, will be helpful to tell me a number in the comment section down below about the number of ants we have killed in this game in total. Would be nice. I'm, you know, it's like a prediction. I'm saying 50 ants, 50 ants minimum. Okay, even more are coming all the time, of course. Three beards, more ants. We have to kill the ants. Be careful, don't get in melee range. Be careful. Okay, kill this end mode, please, as soon as possible. We will buy on a, on, a, on this spot like a slaughterhouse or something. Now we have to make something happen because it's gonna be a never ending love story. If we're gonna not defeat this Rohans, they're gonna do the same thing over and over again, and it will eventually. Uh, be become sloppy, and I was not, I will not pay attention for it like a minute. And those ants are gonna smash our outposts in like a minute, and that would be the worst case possible. When we are going that far, I don't want to lose this one anymore. Get ready to fight. Ready to okay. The enemy is on us. I mean, Witch King is coming. Let's kill Legolas, please. Let's use. Indo I mean, it's not about the money we need. Like, we don't need money, but I don't. You know, when it's available, just use it. It's like something I got used to. You know what I'm saying? It looks like we're gonna lose this outpost, and look at the army of the peasants. Let's go for a wizard blast. Peasants, go back to the shadow. Boom! There we go, nice. I mean, this level 10 combo is gonna be able to stall. That's nice. Now we have to gather the outpost back at the bottom left side, and now we have to start defeating some people too, because I think so far we have not defeated anybody just yet. Rain is available, um, if we need it. Gandalf is also there, okay? Gandalf to right. Okay. Now the true question is, uh, how many outposts do we need to destroy to defeat this one Mordor? That's the main question. So we see Rohan here, we see Mordor here and here. Let's use the Balrog summon. I want to see the damage from Balrog against Mumakil. I've not, I've not seen this before, I guess. 
Let's use Ignite. Let's auto attack him one time. Oh, I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. I mean, Badrock is hitting like a truck. Okay. <laughs> Badrock is in BFM1 the strongest creature because you will able you will be able to one-shot everything. Like, Badrock is literally able to kill an entire base of Gonzo and Rohan all alone. Let's buy this outpost, destroy this outpost at the bottom side. And hopefully, this is gonna be enough to defeat this one Mordor, who is gonna be our first opponent to defeat out of seven. What's Gandalf doing? Kill him. Okay, never mind. He was missing his lightning sword. Luckily for us, Gandalf is squishy, glass cannon. And we have level 10 combos. He can't survive against this much burst. That's not possible. Okay. I'm actually curious if we will be able to defeat Mordor after killing this outpost. Hopefully, yes. No? Why? I mean, what else do we need to destroy? I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> we need to now rotate back because otherwise those peasants are gonna kill our outpost once again. So that would be really annoying because since we, you know, we, we just bought this outpost like a like a minute ago. We gotta protect it with our lives. Let's go for a visa plus against those peasants. Our combos are handling the situation, not a big deal. Our combos also here are doing a nice job with one combo here protecting this outpost. Pretty nice, pretty good. All the good stuff. We can kill those heroes and see everything around them pretty easily. The only one who is taking a bit time of killing is Gimli, definitely. Gimli feels like a very tanky hero against arrows, at least. Maybe he has a dodge chance, you know? That's like a coding option in BFME games. Some heroes have a higher dodge chance, so some, some arrows, they don't even hurt them, pretty much. Looks like we're gonna lose the outpost too. Now we gotta make a move, we gotta make a move, we gotta make a move. Hmm. Oh my goodness, what's that? <laughs> Drummer Troll Army. It's ready. They are ready for the party, guys. They are ready for the party. Let's use Fireball. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we need to use it for defense to keep this outpost protected. Let's kill this troll first. The Drummer Trolls are not meant. To Look how many Drummer Trolls he has. But they are not meant to deal damage. Please keep that in mind. And they are more about sportive units. They are still able to knock us down and that looks great and stuff like this, but they are not dealing damage to us. At least not too much damage. So he used darkness, we covered the darkness immediately by using the freezing rain. Freezing rain in BFM1 is nullifying the effect of darkness entirely. And also, oh nice, 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 Heart Army has been defeated, that's the first one guys we have defeated just now, that's nice, 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 I like it. A new power is rising. And who is next? Let them come. Tower Tower, Furnace. Now we can also move from the top side with the second army. Now we have to be fast. Uh, but again, I don't want to destroy those settlements in the middle of the map because I don't want Rohan to spam more and more end moods on us all the time. Luckily, okay, I was just checking if there is an end mood, but no, there is no end mood. Let's see, Fireball, Fireball, almost one-shotting Faramir, nice one. Faramir, uh, I mean, Fireball actually deals great amount of damage. Our combos are level 10 and they are hit. Oh, another hard army has been destroyed, nice. There was the Gondor, nice one. So only five more left. Oh my goodness, guys! Are we gonna are we gonna do this? Actually, that's crazy. I gotta be honest with you guys. That's not the first time I'm trying it. I gotta be honest. I tried it. I think in total like five or six times, and I was all about to give up. But then I but then I remembered giving. I don't even understand. I don't even know the meaning of giving up. It does, the word give up doesn't exist in my vocabulary. So I decided to give it another to give it another try, and here we are. Really close to win this. Oh, Saruman, be careful, please! Don't jinx me. I'm telling you.
Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about wh what how impossible it's gonna be with Mordor. You know what I'm saying? Like with Isengard, yeah, you have strong eco because of industry. You have also pillage. You have combos, great combos, but with Mordor, no upgrades. You need drama trolls. You need trolls. You need combos. You need Nazgûl, Witch King. You need a lot. And maybe in the very late game you can make something happen with Mordor, but early on, mid game, Mordor is gonna be quite weak. So, anyways, if you wanna find out if it's possible with Mordor, let me know in the comment section down below and also make sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Likes are helping quite a lot. And also, what you could do if you want to, of course, is check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. The link is always in the description down below. And uh, that's the place where. We are streaming Battle for Middle Earth games, hosting tournaments, events, and also getting to know each other a bit better. Oh, another one has been defeated, that's nice. And for example, we're gonna have the World Championship 2021 coming up very, very soon. That's gonna be a, a cash prize tournament of $2,000 for 128 players. Okay, um, I mean, I think we have defeated like three or four so far. There is one more Rohan at the top side. Oh, be careful. Look how many peasants he has. Be careful. Peel back, peel back. Fireball, fireball. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Fight for me, peasants. Oh, the thing is about Saruman when you use the warm tongue, warm tongue um, you can't move for like three, four seconds, you know. I'm playing with fire, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but no risk, no fun. Let's make towers there, that's nice. We have Padrock Summon available, we can use Padrock Summon once again very soon. We have work to do. Let's buy this outpost, nice. Oh, even more ends, I'm gonna summon Padrock here. Let's summon Padrock, let's kill the end mood, let's kill this outpost once again from Rohan. So we are not gonna be forced to... Let's use Breath Fire here, yeah, let's use Breath Fire here. Just to kill it in a second, pretty much. We need to kill this ants also. There we go. Let's let's fly on top of the ants. With the wings ability of Padrock. Of Moria. Heart army has been defeated. That's nice. Nice, 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 nice. I believe we have only two or three more opponents left. I believe. There is a Mordor, we know that. There is a Witch King we have to kill. We have also seen... There is Gonzo, and also there is Rohan. That means we have three more left. The keep is ready. The keep Will we be able to defeat them in time? The keep is ready. Hopefully, yes. Come on. Come on, please. Come on, come on. I can't believe we are doing it, guys. I cannot believe it. Holy moly. I cannot believe it. I was trying to dodge this all the time. You guys were asking Shanks when is the next 1 vs 7 video. I was trying to dodge it. I was trying to find excuses. Because I couldn't admit that I failed like 5 or 6 times already. And today I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it until we are done with it. And... Abracadabra. That's a perfect proof of the statement, never give up. And never surrender. I'm so happy right now. Holy moly. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Alright. Destroy this outpost next. I think that's gonna be the last Rohan outpost. If I'm not mistaken, we will see. Um, we have Mordor. Muma kids are coming all the time, but that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I don't want to play a bit too bad now because we have not won just yet. So we need to be careful. Looks like this Muma kids are taking almost zero damage from our towers. Let's destroy this outpost right after. Our level 10 combos moving from the top side and bottom side. Is this gonna be the last Rohan though? That's the question. We will see now. Uh, no. That means he has at least one more outpost left, which is. Hmm. So Rohan is the most annoying faction to deal with. I promise you guys, I would rather face against um, full Isengards, Mordors, or Gondos than against two Rohans. Because ants, they are the most annoying. 
almost impossible to deal with and they have no money problems those guys you know they can spam they can spawn and moot all the time let's kill this moma kill first moma kills are very very weak against our fires upgraded uh, level 10 combos let's kill this outpost towers 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 money is not a problem trust me on that one money is absolutely no problem let's destroy this outpost next Let's buy this outpost with Saruman, and we lost another outpost in the meantime. I mean, that's like a cat and mouse, like a, I feel like that's like a Tom and Jerry gameplay, you know what I'm saying? We are destroying our outpost, they are destroying our outpost. But I believe the next Balrog summon is gonna decide. The next Balrog summon is gonna decide. Maybe we don't even need Balrog, let's see. This might be the last outpost from this Mordor. Let's buy the outpost back we just lost. Very important. And build towers here. Towers, furnace. I mean, furnaces are also tanky. We're gonna lose the outpost, unfortunately, but that's okay, I guess. If we lose a combo or something. We're gonna buy this outpost now and make like three Uruk pits there, you know? Make three, three Uruk pits there just to be able to spam units all the time. There we go. We have so much money, we can do whatever. Oh my goodness. He has upgraded soldiers too. He's even using Call the Horse on the Orc Pit. Do you see the animation? To get Orcs on the field faster. Use Zaplas, please, Saruman. Please, 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 please. Come on. There we go. Nice. This might be the last outpost from Rohan, though. Let's make some Crossbowman Urukai and also Urukai and Crossbowman at the same time from this one. Nice. Let's build Armory too, because with Armory, guys, we can also buy plates. Okay, we killed the Mumma kills, that's not bad. Let's get this outpost as soon as possible under our control. Looks like we're gonna lose this outpost at the bottom left side, but that's okay, I guess. I mean, not really, but what else am I, what else am I supposed to say, you know? <laughs> if I say it's not okay, it's still happening, so pretty much. We start this farm. Destroy this armory and hope that this is the last outpost from Rohan. Let's hope for it. Come on, please. Come on, please. Be defeated. Be defeated, please. Yes, yes. Nice, he's defeated. That means we have only Mordor and Gondor left. Because I see Nazgul flying, Muma kills and stuff like this. And also there is a Gondor. Somewhere around. That might be the last outpost from Mordor, we will see. Let's buy this outpost, shall we? What is this Gandalf doing there? What the heck? Come on. Imagine now I'm losing my connection or I'm losing... My PC is restarting, I would be so triggered, guys. <laughs> I would be so extremely triggered because you guys don't get the chance to see that. For me, it's more important about you, see, about you seeing it that it's possible than me actually doing it, trust me. Okay, there we go. Let's summon Balrog here. Kill this outpost too from Gondor. Yes, two, two barracks with level 3. Lose, let's use, not lose. Let's use Ignite and then Breath Fire right after. Let's go for it. Oh, we, kid we couldn't kill it, but I think we can just kill it now. And there is another outpost from Gunza. Let's use Warchant, maybe? I mean, we don't really need it, but let's move on. There is no defense on this outpost from Gunza anyway. And there is another one from Mordor. Let's use Ignite while we are in the air. This way we won't lose any time. Let's buy um, Forge Blades. What's happening here, dude? <laughs> what the heck? Destroy, destroy, destroy. Can we breath fire here? Come on, please, 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 please. Ignite first. Breath fire. Come on. Do it. Balrog, come on. Nice. Outpost going down. That's good. Is this gonna be it now? Did we just do it? No? But what's missing? Oh, Hard Army has been defeated. Victorious! Let's go! Nice, guys, we did it! We played one 
versus seven heart armies. Look, all these seven heart armies. Do you see that? We beat them all just right now. Okay, GG. Well played. I can't believe it. On the map, in it wave, three spots on an outpost, and that's it. That's it, guys. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. I can't believe it, but we did it. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.